approaches to system development, prototyping. Now, the prototyping system development approach involves developers establishing basic requirements of a system, then creating a working model of a system, which is constantly modified through the system development process. This model may be created to test completely new ideas or emulate an existing system to better understand its requirements, as well as to experiment with alternative ideas that the development team may have in order to assess efficiency and functionality. So what you can see from this approach is we are developing a physical model or simulation of what a system could look like, whether it's something completely new or based on some sort of existing system, but then constantly tweaking the system in order to improve it and perfect it. Okay, rebuilding the system over and over again. So what we've got to say with the prototyping approach is we are constantly getting feedback. Now, this may be through accessing potential users and communicating with them in order to give them a trial of the developing system in order to provide their feedback. So people are constantly testing this system, having a go at it, and then they give their feedback, whether it be through face-to-face -face interviews or through surveys, they are then giving this data back. When the feedback is obtained, the development team then modify their prototype in order to satisfy the specific user needs that have been identified through the feedback, as well as take on board the user opinions in order to uh, perfect the system's p function and design. We want to ensure that the system best meets our client's needs or our potential target audience in order to maximize its usability, profit, whatever we are going with it. We want to make sure that the people using it are going to be happy. So what this may look like, as said, we are firstly researching and finding our initial requirements and then we're generating some sort of prototype. Next, we are going to have the users trial the prototype. They're giving it a go and they're seeing how it works. They're trying it out, okay? And we're pretty much just observing at this point. Next, we are gonna get the users to give us feedback on the prototype. As said, through either face-to-face -face interviews, through surveys, some sort of questionnaire, we are gonna obtain feedback from the users to see what they think about the system. Once they have given their feedback, the developers then are going to modify the prototype, update it, use their feedback as the foundation, make those changes. And then what we're going to do next is get the users to use it again. All right. And so what we have here within the yellow arrows is what's known as an iterative method where we have this repetition happening because once the users access the prototype again, we're going to ask them for feedback again. That then with their feedback, we are going to update the system again as the developers and then bring out a new version of the prototype for them to trial. So this process will be going on and on again, the trial feedback modification cycle. It will repeat until ultimately we get feedback from the users that is overwhelmingly positive. We are happy with what they've said and we think the system is now in a finalized state. Once that occurs, we can publish the finalized system. It is ready to go. That is the logic of the prototyping approach, that we are obtaining feedback from the user based on their trials, we update, and then we see what they think. So the user trial feedback modification cycle will occur multiple times throughout the prototyping process. The prototyping approach is particularly beneficial in projects where user requirements are complex or may not be fully understood. So we want them to test out the system so we can get that better understanding of what they want. You know, and even they might not be sure of what they want. So they can test different ideas in order to guide their understanding and see and actually feel, yeah, you know what, I do like this way. I do like this approach meaning that this approach is a very adaptive and because the user or client is so involved, it's very user-centered as a development process. So I hope this has given you an understanding of the prototyping approach. And as said, it's an iterative method because we are going through this cycle of trialing, obtaining feedback and modifying as a developer over and over again in order to perfect the system and be adaptive, ensuring that we meet the user's needs as a user-centered approach and ultimately delivering a system that they'll be happy with.